Hello and welcome to this video summary. And my name is Dr. Stephen Pryor and I'm a co-author of a paper entitled Using Personality Type Differences to Form Engineering Design Teams. Our primary concern in writing this uh, paper is to encourage as many educators as possible to adopt proven strategies for formation of successful engineering design teams. Analysis of the team selection methodologies used in most university departments points to random methods of selection as the most common. This is in some ways understandable due to time and cost constraints. However, the results of this <coughs> will only ever lead to mediocre team performance. There are many methods and systems available to the university lecturer. These include analysis of learning styles, Bassett's creative problem solving profile, Belbin's team roles, <coughs> Kersey's temperament sorter, Wilde's creative teams, and last but not least, the main focus of this paper the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, or MBTI. We favor the MBTI due to its long historical development over 60 years, its wide user base, approximately 3 million users per year, and its proven validity and reliability. Its simple format of a four-letter designator, ISTJ, ENFP, etc., is to, in to indicate the subject's personality trait and its inherently benign nature make it appropriate for the educational or business setting. The, the MBTI format is also compatible with several other systems and uh, psychometric tests including Costa and McRae's Neo 5 Factor Inventory, Cattell's 16 Personality Factor Questionnaire and Eisenach's Personality Questionnaire. The biggest drawbacks to using the MBTI are firstly the need to consult a qualified instructor to administer the instrument, and secondly the cost, which can range from 30 to 100 pounds per person depending on who you consult. In terms of accessibility, most career services professionals are qualified to use the tool. In terms of cost, we have been looking at a number of pseudo MBTI websites, which offer analysis over the web at no cost. One of the best being www.similarminds.com. This uh, paper outlines the results of several studies which have been used with the MBTI and engineering students and brings together data not previously available. Finally, we present our unique method of grouping teams based on our five-tier method. This system makes use of choice sets and individual strengths to form successful engineering design teams. We have reduced the 16 MBTI personality types down to eight that we feel are the most appropriate for the roles used in engineering design teams. In conclusion, there is clearly much work to be done in understanding engineering designers and the way that they think. However, there are a lot of associations to be found between creativity, intuition, learning styles and personality types. Good luck. Thank you.